Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video for Pico CTF. My name is John Hammond, and let's get started. This challenge is called You Can't See Me for 200 points in the general skills category. It says, reading transmission, you can't see me, transmission ended. Maybe something interesting lies in this location. So it's on the file server, right? It's on the shell server. So let's go ahead and connect to it. I'm just going to run my ssh.sh script. Go ahead and type in my password so I can log in. And let's change directory to that location. If I ls, there's nothing in the directory. So I figured, like, well, let's check out hidden files. Let's ls tag a. And you can see there is a period for the current directory, uh, two periods for the parent directory, just as you always see in ls tag a. Uh, and those are noted in blue with ls colors because they, they're a folder, right? Um, but we have an interesting thing where we have this other period file. So if I want to try and cat it out, I, I wouldn't be able to just like cat period. It says, well, it's a directory. That that doesn't work. Can I try and cat this directory here? No, it, it, it still considers a directory. So weirdness, right? I can cat all. No, there's nothing here. Cat star dot all or period dot all. It, that works okay for me. That will be able to interpret stuff that is starting with a period. Another thing that I tried was like grep tack r. With period, period doesn't mean the file that we're looking for, but it means the pattern that we're looking for. And I'm using regular expressions, so it'll match anything. And tag R means recursive, so all the files that you see, and that will receive it here. Note that it's a period in a couple spaces. So if I wanted to run like cat period backslash backslash, then it will read it out because I needed a backslash space and backslash space to actually like interpret those spaces in there. I could cat dot space space, and that would read it out. And you wouldn't need the, the period in the start because the, the space will work. But again, it has to be in quotes to denote that. So interesting thing, right? Anyway, we got the flag. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. That challenge is complete. And we're good to move on. Mark that challenge as complete. Let's go ahead and paste it. Sweet. Next challenge is called buttons. It says, there's a website running at this location. Try to see if you can push their buttons. So... We have buttons. It says, push me, I'm your only hope. It says, you did it. Try the next button, button two. It says, boom. Oh, whoa, I'm getting rigged roll. Holy crap. <laughs> I can't show that. I'm going to get a copyright strike. <laughs> it says, form disabled. This incident has been logged and reported to dev null. So let's check out this page here. It says, form action, button two dot PHP. It looks like there isn't anything here, but it is trying to post to button two dot PHP. So... Let's see if we can just actually just make that request, right? We can probably just take button2.php, take that URL, and run that curl command with it. Make directory buttons, cd buttons. Oh. Let's run curl and then tack x to specify the method. Post, and let's use, use the URL here. Awesome. It just pumps out the flag. Cool. Let's go ahead and reverse it so I can just cut tack d get the very last field of spaces, and then reverse that back. We don't need all that output from curl, so that works just fine as our get flag script. Bin bash. Mark it as executable. Redirect that to a flag.txt file. Sweet. Copy to our clipboard. Clip, not clean up, and we can submit that. So, awesome. Not too hard, right? Those are interesting challenges, kind of a, a cool trick, an interesting thing, but just kind of being observant and really looking at what you have in front of you, you'll be able to kind of piece it together and, and have that intuition to know what to do with it. So you could do this with curl. You could have done this with Python requests. You could do this with probably like developer tools if you wanted to fire up some F12 in your browser. But hey, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like watching these. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I say it all the time. Never enough. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. Uh, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. We're always going to be tackling some capture flag competitions. You can hang out with me and other awesome people all about learning and all about being in the scene. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Hope to see you on Patreon. Love you. Bye.